Hey everybody, so this is a kind of a quick weekend project I did. Uh, Lori came home the other day and uh, I brought some cutting boards home as a thank you gift for some friends that she stayed with out east uh, a little earlier. And uh, I said, well, why can't I just make some? So I said, give me a couple of days and let me see what I can do. So this is what we ended up doing. So I ended up starting just gathering up all the scraps of various sizes and lengths and stuff in the shop that I had and getting the same cut to the same thickness um, so I ripped everything t to about an inch and a little over an inch I think an inch and a quarter and that was going to be the thickness of my um, cutting board at least the blanks to get started with um, so got those all cut up and then after those they got cut up then I took that and I wanted to clean it up a little bit so took it over to the drum sander and kind of used that as a servicer and cleaned it up and got them all a little closer and then cut them down to approximate length they needed and started doing some sorting and deciding how I wanted them put together and once I got something I was happy with, and glue, lots of glue. Probably, yeah, actually too much glue. I got a little, a little carried with the gl away with the glue, but that's okay. So got them all glued up, clamped up, and that was on Saturday. Let them sit up overnight, um, so they'd sit up nicely. And then uh, on Sunday morning, I came out, pulled them out of the clamps and then uh, threw them into the uh, thickness planer and uh, cleaned up any unevenness on those. Um, I actually made four of these. Um, I've got another project I'm going to be using them on later. And then I had Lori kind of just a basic outline of the shape of Minnesota and uh, printed it out on a couple eight and a half by 11s and then used some 3M um, contact spray and uh, stuck it down to a piece of uh, MDO and then from there took it over the bandsaw and uh, just roughed it out to the point where it gets close to the lines but not necessarily over the lines and, uh, just kind of cut them out then from there, took it over to the Oscillating Spindle Sander and uh, cleaned up the edges and uh, came up with a little bit more even surface that I could work with. And then from there, uh, transferred that over to the cutting boards, drew those out, and uh, then I cut those out same as I did the bandsaw and then then I took that and used double face tape stuck them to the back of that um, put them into the router table and then used a patterning bit on the router table to even it all up and then took it back to the belt or the sander and, and rode, rode over the edges a little bit here um, before getting ready to put a finish on. And for, I used the uh, salad bowl, uh, general finishes salad bowl finish on this. Um, it gives a really nice finish, I think. And uh, put um, a few coats of them, I'm trying to remember, how, I think three or four coats of this on top of that. And uh, came out really cool. The purple heart, the maple in the middle looks really nice. And then a little blue piece of cherry. Um, some maple in there. Uh, came out pretty happy with the way this came out. But that's a little quick weekend project. And uh, yeah. See you next time. Thanks.